So we're here at Sigma Designs here and uh, at CES you launched a new processor. Yes. This is the first time Sigma does ARM? It was the f it's the first time Sigma is switching to ARM indeed, yeah. So here's the name of it, uh, SMP8734. So uh, what does it do? Actually the, this is addressing the set-top box market. Uh, more power, uh, less energy, uh, cheaper and also compatible with the Android platform. Uh, so you have a, a ton of SDK, HTML5 programming. Uh, that's where the industry is going, using ARM right now. So uh, Sigma Designs is the biggest, one of the biggest for set -top box SOC, no? No, we're sharing the market with other companies such as Broadcom, uh, ST. Uh, so we're actually the smallest top in the three. industry. It's, we're, we're part of the top three. We're, you're Definitely. in the top three, yeah? That's right. And uh, for how long has it been, Sigma Designs, doing um, the set box? The set box business started really in the 90s uh, and uh, has been going since. So, uh, compared to uh, previous generations, uh, is all the connectors, all the features is uh, also there, plus more? Or is there some things you had to remove to do you have You have some integrations through the components, such as uh, the Ethernet Phi, uh, memories, um, all this to address cost. But the, the so everything is full HD, but it's also a trend toward 4K. So the product line you're you're looking at here is an introduction toward uh, you know higher resolution. This is an example of a TV. So this is 4K right it's now. 4K right now, yeah. Is it different uh, model? A different different processor here? Yeah, it's a different processor. So is the main difference uh, HEVC 4K or something else? All the chips are now HEVC and of course MPEG-4, uh, but it is adding here more power. Um, it would be 20,000 demips. So, just as an example, set top box most people have at home right now are 1,500 demips. So it's 20 times the power to do 4K, but also more internet-related things. 20 times the power in terms of, of performance, yeah. So 20,000 instead of, instead of 1,500. That's right. Yeah. So uh, it's a it's a huge jump, or it's a huge jump, you know required by the industry you know you have uh, double decoding that's required you do have uh, processing for the graphical interface it's just the Moore's logo <laughs> uh, going full speed here so uh, when you say Android support is that because you didn't do it before Android Android was already done but the Android um, you know coming into the TV business requires the compatibility with apps and if you do not select arm you actually have to recompile. Therefore, using ARM allows you to dump any application from a tablet and have it running on a TV seamlessly. So it's like uh, all the apps that use native code or uh, right. uh, advanced games and stuff like that. Right. Are uh, gonna seamlessly uh, go on your TV, thanks to ARM. And uh, uh, what else are you showing here at the booth? What else do you have here? Uh, we do have, um, we do have um, video and here we do have home automation. So this is another angle from Sigma Design that was not there 10 years ago. We do have uh, control of your homes through a technology called Z-Wave. Um, so less video related, but yet you can control opening doors from a TV or an app or an iPhone. So what kind of processor do you run in here? Uh, that, this is a different market altogether. It has nothing to do with the video. Uh, but it is uh, a coherent system using a standard called Z-Wave. Z-Wave. All right. So, uh, is this product on the market how soon? As we speak, we have uh, companies developing the set of boxes, and I think it will eat the street probably in Q4 this year, and 4K probably Q2 next year. And uh, you, are you doing a whole bunch of extra optimizations to support all this Android stuff and uh, use all this power for people who might have huge requirements for what, what needs to be done there? The most important the um, thing that Sigma does beside the chip is uh, the SDK, uh, so software development kit is, you know, the team is three times bigger than the hardware, and so the work is indeed a consequence so that you could have, uh, you know, the middleware people can port their, their code on, onto the chip. So it's a special Android, no? It's a special way of using Android. You do an extra layer of SDK on top or something? Um, the specialty comes when you bring the TV business into Android, such as tuner, demodulator, 
you know, receiving DVB-T2 signal, S signal, this is not an Android play at all. So uh, this part needs to be done and delivered to our customer.